I know I'm mostly in front of the camera for Clicky Bezel, but today I'm gonna to hand it off to my good friend, Ripley Sellers. He's a writer, editor, and journalist for a lot of watch content that you've probably seen out there. So I'll let Ripley take it from here. What's up, YouTube? My name's Ripley Sellers. With, I'm here with the Clicky Bezel. Is it Clicky Bezel YouTube channel? Clicky Bezel? Clicky Bezel. I'm here with Clicky Bezel. I'm a good friend of Chris, and today we're gonna to go through how to spot a fake outfit. Uh, Found on offer up. Shot the woman an offer for 40 bucks instead of 50. Drove down to Long Beach from LA, which is kind of a mish, but you know, it's cheaper than shipping. As soon as I got in my hands, I had my, I was wearing my real alpinist at the time, but if you look at it a little harder, it's just not right. First thing you're gonna notice when you're looking at the dial, everything is right there as it should be. All the markers are there, everything looks right, but just the distance from the crystal looks a bit weird. The fake strap is better than the real strap. It's a little bit lighter in color, but and it even has the same kind of padding and support in it, but it feels a lot softer and more supple than the real strap, and um, I guess that goes to show you how bad <laughs> the real one is. So we all know what a real alpinist is supposed to look like, but let's tear apart the fake one and see exactly how it's different from a genuine Seiko alpinist. So the engravings on the real one look a little bit better than the fake one. The fake one, it looks really close. Fake one's right here, real one's here. It's really similar, but it's just not quite as crisp. The part where it says made in Japan, it looks a little bit sloppier. And when you open this bad boy up, it looks like a real 6R15 movement, but it's not. The real genuine Seiko 6R15 movement, you're gonna have in, kind of engraved, like kind of Geneva stripes looking thing on the rotor. This is probably considering it hacks and hand winds a 4R movement that they've painted to look like a 6R. It is a genuine Seiko movement, but it's not the right Seiko movement that should be in here. All right, and remember kids, safety first. Always remember your finger condoms. Finger cots is a proper term, but uh... We all know what these look like. I am gonna be using this movement for a mod, so I don't want to bugger it up too much here. Here's the metal retaining ring. That doesn't look like it's the right type of material. This almost feels like a plastic thing. If you look at the case, see that gear there? As you turn it, it turns that inner ring. On the real one, that's actually made out of a self-lubricating polymer, not metal. So there's another way that it's fake. But again, you're never gonna see this unless it's open. Similarly, if you look at the printing along the uh, compass bezel ring, just the text itself, it's, it's just not nearly as crisp. You can tell the text on the date wheel is a little bit different, and yes, this is a 4R, not a 6R movement. More importantly, let's look at the dial. Everything, again, is where it should be, but it's not made the exact same way. You flip it over. First of all, nothing's riveted, everything's glued. You can literally see the glued blocks on the other side securing the pins. The real Seiko Alpinist dial, little luminous plots are gonna be riveted on. The numbers, the hour markers themselves are gonna be stamped, so you'll see them stamped through on the back side. And then the Seiko name is applied on the real one and you'll see it riveted. Nothing here is riveted, everything's glued. And instead of being embossed, the, uh, the numbers themselves are um, are basically just stuck on and glued from the back. So the dial itself is probably the most obvious thing that identifies it as a fake. Uh, and again, you don't you can see this without even opening it up. You compare it to a regular Seiko dial on the Alpinist, it's a little brighter, it has the right finishing, but it just doesn't look the same. It's a little bit too shiny, the text isn't as crisp. Overall, this is a scary good fake. The level of detail, the fact that it's even using a real Seiko movement is terrifying. This is a watch that retailed 700 bucks maybe at the most, and the fact that they're using a genuine Seiko movement and, you know, a case that at a quick glance you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference, that's really scary to me. You know, the Seiko isn't a $5,000 watch, the regular Seiko Alpinist, so you're not gonna be looking at immaculate finishing. Some of the production details, like the bevel on the case, you could almost write that off as being just a difference in year or production batch. Uh, obviously, when you get to things like the dial and the incorrect movement, that's a very different story, but if you're buying a Seiko Alpinist, really look, gotta look harder, and in some cases, potentially compare it to a real one or even take it apart, because if they're doing this level of fakes to do a fake a several hundred dollar watch, just think of what they can put in when they're doing a several thousand dollar watch and the margins are that much higher. Thanks for watching us take apart a fake Alpinist. Hopefully you've uh, learned a few ways on how to spot a fake one. Uh, stay tuned for our next video, and... Um, do you have anything else you want to say in there? Or don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to tune in next time to see what we have in store for you.